Finally, you know, the only way we were able to pay rent in October of, 20, oh, wow. of 2019 was, mom groups. was people online. Right? Wasn't it mom yeah. groups when, that you were involved in? Yes, that was the only reason they we were able to keep our house. They fucking helped us. Literally, guys. Yeah, that's... Sometimes... Every, every single dollar of it went to rent. Every and single dollar. Yeah, no. And, you know, it's not like some crackhead trying to beg for money for No, rent. but like but like when it when you when in need it was there. Yeah. It, it was pretty bizarre. And so. so now I'm like I don't need social media for that. I literally live somewhere where anybody's gonna help me. Anybody's yes. gonna drop everything and help me. That's just what kind of community we live in. And Nobody's gonna let anybody suffer. And I don't here. think that's a problem. I it makes you uncomfortable because these people are like you can see them every day. Yeah. But it's basically the same thing, you know? Your YouTubers know everything about your life. Oh my god, I know. Yeah. They know too much. I so, talk too much. So we're living the same life, just in different ways. And yeah. that's, that's got to be fine with us, you know? Totally. We got to learn how to... We still sleep in the same bed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And once the resentments kind of go away, it'll... Once we really are comfortable with the fact that we each have individual... Which there's nothing wrong with sleeping in different beds. I just wanted to say that. Fuck, I would if I could. <laughs> but yeah, I would too. I feel the same. But yeah. yeah no. We uh, suffer it up and, you know. But Ben and I's connection is, you know, people are, you know, I think I'm like, geez, we're so different, but it works so well. But it doesn't work well if you're not willing to accept the fact that you're different, you know? It's, yeah. it's not going to go well if you think that you're required to hold up to the same standards. Right. For example, your Venus is in Sagittarius. You talk about my Venus live. <laughs> <laughs> and my Venus is in Gemini. Okay. Neither of those signs are heavily romantic. Okay. Neither of those signs require Sorry, a ladies. lot. <laughs> require a lot of, like, flowers and make you the center of my world. No. Except my trauma tries to make you the center of my world, you know? Right. Okay. I'm like, I gotta love you more than anything. And yours does the same, but really... We're supposed to just, like, have fun together without right. it, like... Like, I feel very secure in our relationship. It's, it's you yeah. Know what I mean? It's yeah. supposed to just be grounded and work really well, but it doesn't always have to require codependency. Right. And that's why I'm struggling. It's because you're finally finding your independence. Yeah. Something and, to really focus my energy on. But then you look at my independence, like... insanely like, amount. You get intimidated by my independence. Yeah. You know, that's from my interpretations. Yeah. Is you just like get really nervous when I find my independence. So we just have to, yeah. you know, be sure. And it's of not each other. financial whatsoever. No. Just to put it that turns into case. financial because we're little bitches and we don't really yeah. have anything to argue about. But now. as you guys know, our podcast and YouTube, they don't pay. They never have. It's been a long time now. You yeah. Know? We don't I, do this for money. This is. And I go to work, but I don't do that for money. Eventually. Either. You know, we'd like to make a penny on it. I, I go to work and I don't do it for money either. And I uh, I think that's hard for Ben to wrap his head around. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like you have to go to work or what do you mean? I mean, I do. I mean, technically, yeah, I have to work. Technically, yeah, okay. But I don't go to work because I have to work or else I wouldn't work there. You know, I don't. All I've ever wanted was to find a job where it's I felt. It's not like getting ready for your shift at McDonald's, right? Yeah. yeah I get you. I wanted a job that I felt wholly at home. And I think that, you know, that might feel scary, well, I mean, you know, like... No, this job's amazing. She can leave and... Well, I mean, of course you get your breaks. That's mandatory. But I'm saying the boss is very lenient. Letting her leave, pick up the kid from school, take the car back to work. We only have one car, so it's... It's literally... You know I, mean? I could it's work It's the best in, job in the world. And yeah. it gives me... I only have to work part-time, so it gives me lots of time at home. And I, I think that... Can, ima can you guys imagine that? Working four days a week, part time, and making a living. It's how is that possible? I know it is. It's really cool. It's really literally, cool. yeah. It's it, it's easy. And uh, that's where I'm struggling is because when I got off of work, all I did was go on social media. But I don't want to do that because I want to find a personality. A you personality? Know? Yeah, like of I your just own kind of thing. Yeah, I don't uh, want to watch other people online all day. Oh, I'm never. Yeah, no, I, I'm authentic got to remain authentic all the time and you know i don't have any besides ben i don't really have any friends that live in across the street you know yeah so i'm forced to kind of be an individual mm -hmm. so i'm trying to 
put my feelings and emotions down in art. And I really want to pull my camera out all the time because taking photos really brings me joy. Yeah. Like, it really does. And it's the one thing that's always brought me joy, you know? And because I'm so naturally good at it. Right. And when you're naturally good at something, you just yeah. want to get better. So it's the only thing I found that I really just... And my job. Excel. I merchandise. It's where you excel, yeah. It's like interior designing my job. That's how I feel. And it's easy for my brain to see where things are supposed to be. So it's it's not hard for me. And a lot of things are hard for Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> you, you try your best. You're great. <laughs> yeah. A lot of things are hard. I'm good at cooking, too, because I can... I can... Uh, she has a taste for things. Yeah, I can... F exactly. Yeah. And that goes to my eye. I yeah. have a, an eye for things. Right, right. I don't know how to translate that. And I'm that. like, you know what? That, that was a good idea. It tastes great. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> kind of like me with the cumin yesterday. Needed mm -hmm. cumin and the chili. You definitely need the cumin. <laughs> yeah. He was totally right. But Ben's great at technical things. Yeah, like what? Technical means, like, things that align. Like, you know how to... Edit and post and edit and post and edit. You know, <laughs> my, every consistency. Day, the way my eye sees things is creatively, uh -huh. right? So you're type A and I'm type B. Oh yeah, your editing drives me nuts. Why? So I know what you're saying. Just, just, it's the same word. Same with your line work. No offense, but you connecting lines. You know, you're just. <sighs> you just slap it on the paper, kind of thing. You know. Well, that's because I don't really care. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> she lacks a sense of care. <laughs> the tattooing's different because uh, Not. tattooing comes with like the right pressure and the right amount of ink. So that is technically hard to pull off. But I understand what you mean about yeah. things like that. Technical. But Ben's the kind of person who's like, let's line up all the furniture around the walls. <laughs> and I'm like, that'll look awful. <laughs> I'm like, we need to have efficiency. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, no, no, it's got to be like, the vibe's got to be right. So I base my life on vibes. And yeah, so now we have a love seat in the center of the living room with a bookshelf on the back of it. Because it looks nice. <laughs> it looks nice, but it's Not it definitely made our, it. made our home a little less roomy. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay, yeah. But yes, so all the way wrapping back around to... Chad Smith. Chad Smith's podcast. Chad That's right. Smith's podcast. Got my my reading today. He got today an oracle and it was, reading, and it was fantastic. And it was special to him. Very it was, special. It obviously had meaning that's, to him. That's all I ever want is to be told that I'm gonna make it. I've never been told that. You know, it's yeah. like that's but, pretty cool. Yeah, I think everybody tries. You know, I think this might be like highly personal. I don't know. I think I've been supporting your YouTube for a really while. Yeah. Like, fully. You're done? No. And I don't <laughs> feel that support back when it comes to things that I do on my side of life. And I think that's why I'm starting to become resentful. It's probably my I'm hyper, getting... hyper focus on what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm always, like you said, 24-7. I'm trying to think of a new short. But I'm, I'm like, to trying get to... Get you in here for a podcast, you know. You know, I'm trying to, like, enjoy my job mm -hmm. and try art and just be inspired. And I don't feel the same, like... I don't feel gassed up. <laughs> I love you. And I, love I, you I too. suck at gassing people up. So when I when he read that oracle drawing, I just felt really like frustrated because it's like so good for you, you know. And I'm just like God. I feel like everything's like so like I don't even know what I'm doing right or wrong. So I wanted an oracle reading and I didn't get one, but <laughs> she mad, bro. I'm mad because I just, I find it really easy when other people tell me when, when the cards that are picked from other people's hands yeah. tell me, I don't like when people give me advice. I can't stand that shit. Right. I know my own. But they don't know you. So it would have been nice. I, yeah. I feel so you, the card just like me, it was nice to hear. The you. card doesn't come from them. It comes from the universe. You know, they're mm -hmm. just doing it with intention I for that. a person. Yeah. Well, I hope so. <laughs> so I wanted my cards read. It was like getting a tarot drawing. Yeah. I just want to know where to go next because I'm really unsure of myself right now. <laughs> Oh, so we need to find you a live tarot reading. There's plenty of them out there. Most of them charge. That's why she said we don't charge money for No, I, I literally, I follow a couple people that do tarot, and, and it's okay, well. oracle tarot. See, I don't know exactly, guys. That was my 